And now for something a little bit different. We're going to up our game with all this electric motor stuff. We've been playing with the e-propulsion motor and that bigger battery. And then something else is in the works here. This is not going to be a real detailed video. This is kind of just a little teaser for what we're working on next. A friend of mine built this about six years ago, and he's since built a much bigger electric motor. So he very kindly loaned this one to me on a long-term basis to play with, tweak, and learn from. I've built a lot of interesting things, but I've never done something quite like this. So the overview on this is it's a late 50s Johnson 35 horsepower lower part or shell. And as far as the electric motor on top, this is a 10,000 watt or 10 kilowatt E-Tech electric motor. And I've got the schematic here for the way it was designed. And at the moment, we've got all of our wiring and our throttle and a lot of our parts kind of broken down here. So all this stuff needs to be reconnected learn how all this stuff goes together and we'll start doing some testing hopefully in the next couple weeks. Some quick overviews for this motor. It is water cooled as we can see from the uh, the copper tubing around the head of the motor and I understand that works fine. So we do have water being pulled up with the old impeller nothing unusual there and the water comes out the back as far as the battery power for this goes, this is a lot thirstier than the small Spirit 1.0 that we've been playing with. So for testing and for short runs, for very short runs, we're going to use the battery that we bought for the e-propulsion for the little Spirit, and we'll go from there. We're not going to be able to ring this out much or for very long with that battery there, but enough to kind of get a feel for it. That one can deliver, I believe, 50 amps continuous and up to 300 amps for about 10 or 15 seconds. So once we get this together, we'll certainly kick it a couple times and see what this does to the, the Glastron and see what kind of short-term speeds we can get and how that works. But in the meantime, I wanted to share the overview of this and welcome everybody to stick around and see what we do fun stuff. Always keep doing interesting things because you learn a lot along the way. Thanks for taking a look. As a side note, I have a couple of cowlings here that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace for some different projects. And oddly enough, this wizard fits pretty well on here. So we've got the Johnson 35 cowling there. It's missing some parts so it won't close. But that's, that's a pretty restorable, sweet cowling. This one was five bucks. So what I think I'm going to do with this one, and it is fiberglass, is I'm going to build some sort of mount for the bottom so this will slip in here and latch down, and then we're going to recondition recondition this. We're going to sand it down, paint it, maybe remove a few things, and identify this motor as an electric with some design changes, and I'm still thinking about some ideas but I like the angle on the back there. I think it looks kind of cool. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.